What is going on AMC investors? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on AMC Entertainment. So guys, in today's video, we do have a lot to talk about, but one of the main focuses of today's video is going to be on margin calls, which is obviously what everyone watching this video more than likely wants to hear. When those margin calls start rolling in, that's when we're going to see AMC have this massive short squeeze that we have all been waiting for. So we do have some updated information on margin requirements and margin calls possibly becoming because of all of these new roles being implemented. Implemented. So guys, that is something really to look forward to. So if all this sounds interesting, make sure and stick around for the entire video. Make sure and subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. You guys never miss an important video just like this one. And with that said, guys, really quick before we get into the video, I just wanted to jump into the Discord here, let you guys know this is all completely free. Come join us in our free Discord so you guys can get up to date on absolutely anything you could ever imagine with all kinds of automatic bot updates on the dark pool data, on AMC data, on every Every single other stock as well as some general chat rooms and of course the biggest part daily options my man Chuck Fu here is awesome with the options you can see our plays already today right here this is what we're gonna be in and then if I jump over here I can show you the August 12th recap as you can see four or six plays here we are still in four of them but overall so far we've only exited two two wins on that so a 100% win ratio we'll have to see how the other four go but guys come join us in the discord like I said, it is completely free. And with that said, let's get right into this video. Now, I want to start with this from Trey's Trey's. This is absolutely huge. It says, in Adam Aaron's six years of being a leader at AMC, he hasn't sold a single share. Not one single share. Not even right now as we are amongst a squeeze. And not even when the share price hit $75 per share, he did not sell one single share. However, CEO of Robinhood, as we already know, is Vlad. He sold shares on on day one of the Robinhood IPO. Obviously, like we know, he should have waited a day. He would have got a lot more out of that. But nevertheless, he immediately dumped an absolute ton of his shares. So did a lot of other higher-ups. I believe the CFO, I think it was, he dumped 100% of his shares. I could be wrong on that. It was either him or the marketing officer that dumped 100% of their shares. Regardless, absolutely massive numbers. If you believe in this company long-term, if you work high up in this company and you believe in it, why on earth are you selling those shares? This just shows you the difference between a CEO from Robinhood and what Adam Aaron is doing for AMC, but not only AMC, for this entire community. Shout out to him. I really think he is a genuine guy and is really doing a great job in leading AMC to victory. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is from my video yesterday. Real quick, I said BlackRock is buying an absolute ton of AMC shares, which they were at $33.04 or something like that. Now, this guy came and commented on my video and said this, BlackRock is buying and lending shares to Citadel to short AMC. Citadel ownership in BlackRock to the tune of $267 million. Now, I have to say, they do own this. There's no doubt about that. You can go fact check that yourself. However, the part where they're actually lending their shares to Citadel... I'm not 100% sure on, but I did want to share this with you guys because, of course, I want to keep it straight up with you guys and honest. I really thought BlackRock was holding on to these shares for themselves, just like Vanguard is doing. They are 100% doing that, but since he brought this up, I wanted to show it because it could be a possibility. They could just be leading to more shorts on AMC stock, which nevertheless isn't a bad sign at all. I want this short interest to continue to go up. Why? Because that's going to make this squeeze just that much more powerful. Now, moving on here, we know why the share price of AMC is sinking today and that is a good sign I know that's weird to say but that is a good sign because we can see the short interest is up once again guys we are up to 20% short interest that is a two or three month high in short interest that is absolutely massive last time we were up to these kind of numbers we saw a push up to $75 per share you can believe a Citadel and whoever else over there they are pushing on AMC as hard as they possibly can shorting it shorting it shorting it to try to get us retail investors who to sell out or possibly to even cover their shares at a lower the price at a lower price and nevertheless regardless they are going to have to cover those shares and like we always say on this channel we know two things have to happen to make this short squeeze happen that is one the hedge funds have to continue to short which obviously they are doing 20 percent short interest we haven't been up there in a long time and two amc investors have to continue to hold looking at the buy and sell data from retail investors not including those dark pools we can see the AMC apes are holding on to their shares. Of course, I have no idea if the squeeze 
will happen or not, but we are lining up pretty good. That's all I have to say. Make sure and do your own research first. Now, one other thing I want to talk about is not only the short interest, which plays a, which plays a big part in this squeeze, but also this right here, which is utilization. This plays a very, very big part. So it says utilization is the number of loaned shares, the number of shares that are loaned out divided by the available shares in securities lending market. So how many more they can actually be lent out expressed as a percent. So essentially it measures the demand for shares from short sellers. And normally a high utilization ratio is a red flag because it tells you that demand for the stock from short sellers is elevated, meaning you might not want to get into that stock because it's being shorted. However, for a short squeeze scenario, this is extremely good. It shows that the demand from short sellers is absolutely through the roof. Like normally, like a company like Apple, who most people would never short, they have a utilization of less than 1%. However, a company like AMC, we are sitting at 94% right now, which is absolutely massive. And remember, last time we squeezed it to $75 per share and some shorts, not all of them, of course, but some shorts did have to cover at that price point. And we know that because the short interest went down, but we were at 100% utilization, which we are slowly approaching once again. If we can get to that number once again, you can believe that the hedge funds are going to be at high risk for those margin calls and they could be forced to buy back all of those shares. This utilization also tells us that the hedge funds are the pretty much the only ones lending out their shares. We know retail investors have opted out of that for a very good reason and that is why this utilization is very very high utilization is very very high up at almost 100 yet the entire flow isn't being shorted why because we know us retail investors have turned off share lending or at least a lot of us therefore our shares are not being loaned out so all of this is very important stuff to pay attention to and that's why i will continue to update you with all with all of this data although it doesn't make moves among the hour you're not going to see amc squeeze tomorrow or in 12 hours hours. This all plays a big part in us leading up to the squeeze, which I personally feel is very important. And that is why I continue to keep you guys updated on that topic. Moving on here, let's talk about this, which is NSCC 2021-005, increased margin call requirements by 25X. This was something that was filed all the way back in April, and now is finally getting approved on an accelerated basis. Once again, this just shows you how things take time. We saw a lot of these new rules that came about a couple months ago and people are like nothing happened nothing happened with them guys all of this takes time this is from april now it is finally starting to get approved on an accelerated basis still not set in stone yet that is why all those although these all these new rules are good to see coming along it takes time for them to actually be implemented and for action to actually be taken so keep that in mind when we go over stuff like this and basically as you can see the nscc states it has also found that its current minimum margin requirement of 10 thousand is disproportionately lower than the minimum margin requirements of other CCPs that clear similar securities. So they're increasing it from $10,000 to $250,000. Now, this is really to protect the NSCC to make sure they have enough money, 250,000 times the number of people to ultimately keep themselves afloat and alive. Nevertheless, as these new rules continue to be implemented, this gets better and better for AMC in the long term. And as you can see, here is the official document from the SEC. You can see April 26, 2021 right there. And I won't bore you reading this entire article, but you guys can check it out for yourself. And let's move on here. So it says Citadel wants the SEC to reconsider the updated margin requirements. So as we can see from Citadel Securities right here, it says reconsidering the exemption form from uncleared initial margin rules, which ultimately, if I'm reading this correctly, would help us retail investors. Regardless, though, as these new rules continue to be implemented, we're going to start and see more and more of this. They already came about. You know, Citadel and the other market makers are trying to fight them. But as they start to get implemented, and come to fruition, you can believe there is going to be all kinds of filings to try and get the SEC, try to get whoever, reconsider these rules. Why? Because it's going to make them lose and it's going to make them get margin called eventually. But guys, the SEC and other organizations have put up to this up until this point. You can believe they're on the hedge fund side and doing everything they possibly can in their favor because 
Who knows, but they could be getting paid behind the scenes. I don't know that for sure, but nevertheless, we know that they are all pretty much against us retail investors. However, there's going to come a point in time when the SEC is not going to be able to back these hedge funds anymore because the whole situation is becoming too obvious, and this meme stock rally is going to end up affecting the entire stock market. And we're starting to see that from Gary Gensler, who we pretty much used to hate. I personally still do because of what he's doing with Ripple. And nevertheless, as far as AMC goes, we used to absolutely hate him because he wasn't doing anything now he is starting to come on cnbc he's starting to have his own talks on twitter and different things where he is saying that the sec is going to start examining these dark pools and what is going on with the pfof brokerages because they are absolutely not fair in creating markets that have zero competition so that is all very very important and we're starting to see the sec specifically gary gensler start to protect himself his position and the sec over these hedge funds and their manipulative plans and eventually that is what is going to happen and we're already starting to see that come into place so i know all of that is a pretty big rant but hopefully that makes sense and all of this is going to lead possibly to those margin calls coming to fruition in the future remember guys as they're holding on to these short positions it costs them money to hold on to their short positions it costs us zero dollars every single day to hold on to our shares because they are shares also in addition to that not only they're paying the, that interest Interest. We can see many other things are coming to life as well. I'll give a quick summary here. One, the short interest continues to go up. Two, the utilization continues to go up. Three, we can continue to see that AMC apes are continuing to hold are holding on to their shares and they are not selling. We can see that from the buy. We can see that from all of the buy and sell data. 94% are buys when the AMC stock price is dropping. That means all of that action is going on in the dark pools and us AMC apes on the retail side are not selling. And four, obviously all of these new roles like we continue to talk about are starting to come to life and starting to make an impact. These are many things. It's going to take many, a hundred ducks in a row to ultimately make this short squeeze happen. I'm not going to say it's easy but we are getting closer and closer and things are looking good for amc stock now we have one more date here which is september 1st it says when this is going to be implemented which is september 1st 2021 there will be an upsurge in volume of margin calls and an increase in the need for third party custodians to safe keep collateral as a result umr will likely require many buy side firms to make significant changes to their existing collateral management process and this is supposed to come September September 1st. So guys, margin calls could be coming soon. I can't say they will, but they could be. Anyways, guys, this is all I have for today's video. I know it's a pretty big rant, but hopefully you learned something and it all makes sense what is going on with AMC stock. Guys, make sure and subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. Give this video a like so we can share it with as many people as possible. And as always, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video.